trans memes. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am trans fam. Tra trans fam. Tran. Trying William we fame. I am trans femme. Obviously, haven't gotten to that part yet. Still waiting to go into the doctor to get my HRT all getting and going. But I figured, while we wait on that, let's do some trans memes. My hair is a mess. There is somebody outside doing weed whacking or something. They are very loud. Either way, trans memes. I didn't expect this to be happening just yet. What the fuck? How am I supposed to hide these from my family, lol? When my boobs start showing through both shirts and hoodies. This has turned into a difficult situation. Good meme. This is good meme. God, mother fuck. I'm gonna go close my window. That's better. Where are the trans femmes that don't say mm or ooh ooh or like being called a good girl? They don't exist. Just plain out, they, they don't exist. Silly liberal, if you wear a dress, you're a girl. I'm a trans girl. Just because you wear a dress doesn't mean you're a girl. Yeah, accurate. Yeah, no, that's, that's, um, yeah, no, that's pretty accurate. Trans mask egg. I want to be a man. Trans femme egg. I want to be a woman. Why would you want to be a girl? Why would you want to be a guy? It's straight facts. I mean, I, I still don't understand why other people like being guys. I, I just don't. This is not, this is not it. <laughs> Pro tip, having trouble coming up with passwords for your account? Just call the trans femme a good girl. Observe. Oh my, you're such a sweet, good, pretty girl. Thank you. That's a good one. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I feel called out. <laughs> Bitches be like, E will change your body irreversibly. I'm just like, yeah, it fucking better. I hate this thing. Yeah, I've never gotten that argument. Oh, it's gonna do permanent damage. It's gonna do permanent stuff. It's like, yeah, that's kind of the point. <laughs> girls with manly voice are girls. Mwah. What a pretty girl. I want to look like her. Yeah, gender envy is a huge problem, uh, even for me. Uh, my best friend, pinnacle of why I want to be as a woman. Uh, my, my female best friend. I have a female and a male best friend. Point being, my female best friend, pinnacle of what I want to be as a woman. I know I'm never gonna get there, but at the very least, I know I'll get to a place that I'm happy, and you should be happy with yourself as well. No matter how far you get in your transition, at the end of the day, your body is your body, and you should be proud of it for whatever it is. I forgot how fucking long my legs are. I bought thigh highs for the first time, and they don't even reach my knees. Facts. All right, I've bought thigh highs once. They ripped because I tried to pull them up past the middle of my thigh. And now I don't have those thigh highs anymore. Well, I do, but they they, they look a little weird now, so I, I totally get it. I'm the best video game trans rep. No, I'm the best video game trans rep. Amateurs. What was that, punk? Amateurs. Fucking <laughs> Metaton. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> we all love Metaton. We, we all love Metaton. Oh, the dream to look like this. Hey. At the end of the day, even if you don't look like that, you're probably still beautiful. Don't discount yourself just because you don't look like an anime girl online. At the end of the day, you're still a beautiful little trans femme. So, hey, take the wins you can get. And you probably look beautiful anyway, so just saying. Getting top surgery this week and thought this up. Select the program you want to uninstall. Evernote 6.8.7. Grammarly for Microsoft Office Suite. Boobs. Good me. Good me. Good me. I could really use an oven right about now. I want to date her. I want to be her. I want to be her mother. I haven't experienced this one yet. The <laughs> Still very early in my transition, obviously. So this one's a little bit new to me. Haven't heard this one. I've definitely heard wanting to be with somebody. Definitely heard wanting to be somebody. Haven't heard the mother bit. This this one's this one's a little bit strange to me, but hey! To each their own, I suppose. We all know which button this is. Me the button. Me. The button. Me. The button. Me. The button. We all know the button. Those those who need to know the button know the button. And clearly you're one of the ones that needs to know the button. Unless you're not. In which case, learn the button. You'll thank yourself later. Slight transphobia warning. Me. I heard about this new lesbian dating app that uses AI to exclude trans women. Also me. Download it and see how accurate it's 99% accurate AI is. We should all download that app. Me when someone uses the LGBTQ plus flag with the intersex triangle. I'm not intersex, nor do I know any intersex people. I just like seeing them get the much needed acknowledgement. Good meme. This is a good meme. I especially like, uh, 
Oh my god, what's his name? Uh, oh my god, I am, I am crashing as a has-been hotel fan. Fat Nuggets, that's it. Fat Nuggets. I love you, Fat Nuggets, you're so cute. I'm too poor for top surgery, lol. My trans dumbass. Working out can make your boobs smaller. <gasps> they became bigger. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where that came from. Uh, I do know that, like, you know, considering that boobs are fat, you know, bringing down the fat content in your body can help make them smaller, but at the same time, you're increasing muscle, and so it's just gonna push them out a little bit more. So, my boobs are growing fast, but a bit too fast, and I'm already noticing significant budding, and the start of fat d deposition in- dep deposition? Is that right? Yeah, deposition in week three. Me, gender euphoria from boob growth. What if I just become a man with boobs? What if I change my mind? I'm not trans enough. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, all that good stuff. At the end of the day, there is no such thing as being trans enough. Whatever amount of trans that you are is enough. And that's all you need to remember. Just because your boobs are growing faster and the rest of your body isn't changing equally, doesn't mean you're any less of a woman. At the end of the day, you are still transitioning, you're still beautiful, and the process just is weird for some people. Your mileage may vary. At the end of the day, certain things are going to happen before other things, and just because they do, doesn't mean you're any less trans or that you're gonna regret it later. Remember, less than 1% of trans people regret transitioning, and at the end of the day, you should always, always remember that statistic, because as much as you might think you regret it now, you won't. And if you do, I'm sorry, I guess you were part of the less than 1%. I made a trans planet. Hmm. Let's all go to this trans planet. This looks like a really nice planet to live on. Although I will admit, it is extremely close to the sun. So I can't tell if this is like a positive reinforcement of the fact that trans people should exist or a threat to all trans people that they should be eradicated by solar discharge. <laughs> Blah slides. What? Yo, those are dope. I love those. I want them. I want them so bad. Although I'm a little bit offended that you have socks on underneath them, but still. Blaha. Fucking great. Well, Blow High. Their, their name's Blow High. But I like Blaha better. Blaha's funnier. So, Blaha slides. Fuck, I want those so bad. I'm not a stereotype. You're a stereotype. I'm trans, and this is my chosen name. Wow, I love your name. How did you choose it? Doesn't fucking remember. Felt that. I still don't know how I chose my name. By the way, this is my name. For those of you wondering what my chosen name is, there you go. So... Yeah. But yeah, no, I have no idea how I chose my name. I I still kind of wonder to this day. Um, I don't know. Dear tall trans girls, there is no reason to be insecure about your height. Lady Dimitrescu is eight feet tall and had the entire internet thirsting for her. That is facts. She should be your goal. It, maybe. I don't know. I, oh, shit. My bad. Um... Maybe not goal. She is eight feet tall and a vampire that has really long claws. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, I guess you could go for it. I personally wouldn't, but they make a valid point. <laughs> Are you all packed for tomorrow? Yes, everything was finally fit in and my mask outfit is ready to wear. Great, because now you feel very femme. Yeah, for my gender fluid folks out there, I, I don't know how you do it. I mean, I was gender fluid for a short time before I realized that I was properly trans. It, it just seems exhausting, honestly. More exhausting than me trying to find affordable women's clothing, for that matter. <laughs> I'm here to destroy your testosterone. Thanks, Spyro. You're you're a real bro. Real real dragon. Dragon these nuts. Remember to cut that at the nuts. Okay. Me being AMAB, but trans femme intersex, Kindefelder syndrome, XXY chromosomes, and very feminine. Biology. Task failed successfully. Good me. Thought I would post here. Mm. Aww, she's adorable. You know what? You did a great job. I, I like this. This is really nice. Keep it up, sir, sincerely. Like, this is this is a really nice meme. Oh, it says Happy Pride Month. Yeah, Happy Pride Month, everybody. Great meme. Great meme. Good meme. Mirrors always kill the vibe. Me in my mask clothes and feeling like a cute tomboy. Mirror. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, how did you realize you were trans? Well, 2021. Am I cis? Three minutes of thought later. Oh, I'm definitely not cis. Facts. I, I feel really called out right now. <laughs> I want to be very clear. It did not just take three minutes for me to decide it. But still, like, when I finally realized it, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I recently hit two years on HRT. 
Things have gotten so much better since I've started, though I honestly don't remember much of how things were before. I really can't even imagine it. The only part I remember are the awful emotions tied to my past, and how people have described how I was before. I can honestly say that transitioning has made me happier than anything else, and I can't imagine a life where I wouldn't have started. Yeah, that's a really nice meme. Good meme. Good meme. I am done being patient. Me waiting multiple years for healthcare. Me literally three days on E. FUCKING DO SOMETHING! <laughs> it will come with time. I know it's hard to be patient once you've started, but it will come with time. I promise you, your mileage may vary, but honestly, you can start seeing things early as three weeks. So, just a little bit more time, a little bit more patience. I promise you, you'll have the biggest booba. It's gonna happen. Just, just gotta wait. <laughs> it was almost flawless. Secretly buying femme clothes online. My bank statements my parents can read. <laughs> I kind of have a bit of a... A bit of a story with this. So, I currently live with a few roommates that are very, like, technologically advanced as far as, like, having things just constantly at the top, you know, Alexas and stuff like that. Um, and apparently, their Amazon lists and FedEx lists are shown on their Amazon and on their Alexa. I didn't know that it's registered to the address and not the email. So, turns out, when you order something, even if it's not off of their email, your roommates can still see what you ordered because it's tied to your residence. <laughs> the first piece of female clothing I bought was male-friendly panties. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Twas definitely an embarrassing moment when I learned that they could see what I buy. <laughs> Thousands of hair follicles on my chin. Me with a pair of tweezers. Yeah, I, I'm sure you can see it a little bit. I got some stubble. I would love to just like, just take it all out. It'd be great, but I can't. Based on a true story, slaps ass, my girlfriend. This girl can fit so much estrogen. <laughs> Good meme. Good meme. I mean, I can still wish, but I'll never be in a sapphic relationship. Getting dysphoria from normal things. Dysphoria from knowing I'll never get pinned to a wall by a girl in a lesbian way? Sure you will. I mean, I don't know if you're trans mask or trans femme, but regardless, that's always an option. And it's a really good option. <laughs> never ask a woman her age, a man his salary, a trans girl how tall she is. Facts. It's a huge dysphoria factor for a lot of trans women. Just try your best not to ask. Because most of us are pretty fucking tall. I mean, I'm, I'm 6'1 as it stands, so. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Detect likely gender using AI. Below is a free tool that uses AI to detect likely gender. Just upload an image and our AI will predict if they are more likely to be a male or female in just seconds. 91.66% confident. Man. <laughs> I don't think you're using it right. <laughs> Transfem starter pack. Blaha. Programmer socks. Estrogen, Lily, Emily, Luna, Mia, Maya, June, Winter, etc. Pickles and a skirt. The best part of this? Pickles. Gotta love pickles. Pickles are the greatest. For the record, I have not started estrogen yet. I just love pickles. <laughs> Babe, wake up. New bottom surgery just dropped. Request. What would the average dick smashing force, DSFI, of a guy or girl on the Mickey's Dick Smasher Disney World ride? Figure out all the other information yourself. Disney World New Ride Idea. Mickey's Dick Smasher. Two roller coasters that collide into each other. Guy or girl stands here and gets their dick smashed between two roller coasters. Seems effective. Seems effective. Happy gay sounds. A nice lady complimented how tall I was and called me pretty. It's always nice. It's always nice. I actually have gone out a few times in feminine clothing. And the amount of compliments that I got when I actually went out on my own and did it was unbelievable. I mean, I literally went to an Applebee's and one of my old co-workers there when, from when I had worked there uh, had realized who I was and they just said that I was so like they they ca kept calling me hun they called me pretty they said that I was doing you know a, you know I, w I looked great and it it just filled me with so much joy. It really did. I mean you can, I'm sure you can tell by all the stuttering coming out of me right now. <laughs> You aren't a real man, you wear girl clothes. You'll never be a real woman. You, you can't make him happy. You really can't. <laughs> happy Pride. Wait, is this real? 
I love Terraria. I would love it if this was real. Oh my god, that's freaking awesome. Who would win? Your average body conscious trans girl? The power of the sun. I'm gonna say the trans girl just feels about right. I mean, they've got so much just like bottled up stuff they could probably blot out the sun with it. Chat, I came out to my mom and she's accepting of me. Aww, that's great. My parents are pretty accepting of me too. My mom especially, and that, it's always just nice to know that you're being accepted by those around you, especially those close to you. So, genuinely, awesome, I'm very happy for you. Discover I'm trans, promise myself I'll never lose hope. Continuing going about my business and c after coming out to friends and parents. Realize I have no idea what to do or nor any of the energy to do it. Worry I might never be a girl and lose said hope. Oh, poor thing. Look, at the end of the day, look, it's... Everybody's gonna go at different speeds. And some people have more access to certain things than others. I mean, a lot of people are hindered by time or financials or anything like that. And it can just be a pain to try and get started. But at the end of the day, no matter how quickly you get to it or how slowly you get to it you are still just as valid and don't lose hope you've got all the time in the world you know you'll get the booba soon or the non booba soon it is non-gender specific so you'll get whatever part of the top bottom and all over you can get soon promise just a little bit of patience goes a long way and that was r slash trans 2 aka trans memes if you guys did like this, feel free to leave a like and a comment just to let me know that you did. And feel free to suggest other subreddits to read, trans or otherwise really, LGBTQ of any kind, or heck, let's get some transphobic ones in there too, just so that we can have some fun with it. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I can't wait to see you next time. I am stuttering all over the place, but either way, can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye bye.